Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So, uh, this thought just came to my mind. Like nowadays, Gen G students are there, and uh, this is a new generation. So, this new generation is making use of ChatGPT or not? Like not just ChatGPT, other AI tools are also there, like DeepSeek, Gemini. So, are you guys making the use of AI in your preparation or not? Look, whenever you whenever you are watching a particular lecture, let's just say I'm studying a particular thing, let's just say I'm studying Fourier series or Fourier transform. So at that time, I will not be focused towards the AI or anything like that. My focus would be whatever the teacher is teaching and whatever the notes that I'm making or whatever the lecture PDF that I am having. So my focus at that time would be towards my lecture only, towards my teacher and whatever the content that he is teaching. Now let's just say if I'm stuck in between. The teacher has given his best possible explanation, but still I am not much sat satisfied with the explanation. I want more knowledge on that. Or if you feel like that, sir, I am done studying for the last three to four hours. I am watching the lectures. Now I, I now I want to take rest. If if I want to take rest, then I will drop the mobile aside and I will just close my eyes or I will try to meditate. But if you feel like that, sir, I want to study something. Whatever that I have studied, I want to gain more knowledge on that. At that time, you come to ChatGPT. Other things are also there like you can make the use of AI tools for other stuff as well in your preparation you can make the use of AI tools in a very good manner okay so let's just come to ChatGPT now like I am done studying Fourier series Fourier transform now if I come to ChatGPT now what thing I can do like mostly if you study Fourier series Fourier transform people will just tell the formula they will tell the property and they will solve the questions very hardly you would see in only one or two lectures you would see that they will give the core concept that how Fourier series came into action, how Fourier transform came into action. Like that core concept would be missing. If you want to revise properties that then you can revise the properties as well. Like what I would do if I am sitting idle. Okay, I have done everything. I am sitting idle. So what I would do? I would give this prompt to chat GPT. That's uh, explain the core concept. Explain the core concept of Fourier series and Fourier transform also write down all the properties explain in the easiest word So surely it is giving you some results, right? Idea, then uh, first he, is, uh, he has given the trigonometric form, then he has given the complex exponential form, then for the Fourier transform as well. Although he did not give the core concept, core concept I have already explained in the video, but I'm not telling that uh, you should watch the video. This is just the video to help you that how you can use, make use of AI in your preparation. So like kind of everything you are revising here, all the formula that you are, you are revising, right? And here what they are saying, difference between Fourier series and Fourier transform. Now he is writing down the properties as well. So in that manner, you are able to revise the properties as well. Are you able to understand? Like if I am sitting idle, if I am traveling as well and I feel like that, sir, I cannot watch the lectures, then this is how at least I can revise. Are you able to understand this point? Okay. Although this property is wrong, right? This property he has given wrong. So whatever the wrong thing he is giving, like you can ask him to re-verify as well. But this property is wrong, right? The integration property doesn't go like this in Fourier transform. This property is different, right? So this uh, this he has given wrong, but it would be there in your lecture. No, you would know that he is giving it wrong because he is not taking the DC part into consideration. If you take the DC part into consideration, then answer would be different. Right? So yeah, like this is how you can make use of it. And apart from this, you can make use of uh, AI tools for your doubts only. Let's just say I am having a particular doubt. I was watching a particular video. Let's just say I was watching a particular video. There, the teacher explained me that. Uh, Whenever an electron make a transition, uh, make a transition from a, so whenever we give the transition, whenever we give the temperature on room temperature, what will happen is that even in the in intrinsic semiconductor, some electrons from the valence band will go to the conduction band and it will uh, create some holes here and it will create some free electrons in the conduction band. The energy gap for silicon is 1.1 electron volt, but at the room temperature. At the room's temperature, the electron will get uh, how much energy? 26 milli electron volt, right? At the room temperature, electron will get 26 milli electron volt energy. But you are saying that at room's temperature, electron will make a transition from conduction, make a transition from valence band to conduction band. That means it needs to cover 1.1 electron volt energy. 
but you are saying that at room temperature you are having only 26 millivolt energy right so how it is possible how electrons are making the transition from 26 to he is having 26 milli electron volt energy only but he is making a transition of 1.1 electron volt how it is possible so this kind of uh, intuitional doubt or this kind of uh, conceptual doubt you might be getting right so just type that down and he will give you a very good explanation that's for that's pretty sure okay so just type down type down this uh, this uh, query or this doubt so what i will write down at room temperature electron get thermal energy of 26 milli electron volt then how it is making an transition of 1.1 electron volt energy gap consider silicon why this ambiguity ambiguity explain in the simplest words there you go so mostly he will be explaining with respect to fermi direct delta function oh sorry fermi direct function only fermi direct distribution only okay mostly he will be explaining with the fermi direct distribution okay you can see because this doubt i have also discussed with chat gpt right so yeah whatever that uh, he has explained here right and i will take this doubt whenever i teach edc i will take this doubt and i will explain in a better manner like he did not give the formula and everything but i will explain with respect to formula so some some result he has given and you will surely be able to understand in a decent manner actually like some idea you will get it's better knowing something than not knowing anything right so this is how you can make use of ai ai tools in your preparation in your idle time in your free time you want to be get connected with the concept you want to be, you want to stay connected with the concept then this is how you can make use of it are you able to understand this point okay and not just this particular thing like here other feature will also be there like that you can upload the picture as well so let's just say you you get some doubt so just upload the picture here and he will solve it it might happen that he is solving it in a wrong manner he got the different he got the incorrect answer it might happen but you will surely get some idea that if he is doing some mistake you will get the idea if he is doing it correct you will also get the idea so whatever the idea you were previously having apart from that now you will be having better idea along with that there is another feature as well which is deep C K I. so the same query i will copy this same particular query i will copy and now i will ask this different ai this is the different ai tool which is which is deep ai and it is having a deep thing feature so whenever you use this deep ai i mostly use this one like even for teaching as well you would see that currently i'm going to teach <coughs> edc right so you can see that a lot of things are there from edc right and like mtech stipend and all these suggestions also i took from him only right and like let's just say i was solving some questions so i gave him the question and then i solved it random process mean of random process when i was teaching random process like i like i took the i took the reference of it to to frame some good problems as well if i want to frame some good numerical problem i can take the reference as well right so if i want to make my theory if i want to uh, to write down the theory of uh, some particular concept right so i can make use of it are you able to understand this point so this is how in my teaching i use it so as a student also i can use it when we were the student at that time it was not there but it may waste a lot of time right it may waste a lot of time if you spend a lot of time here so effectively we need, need to use it and how effectively you will use it it depends on you right so effectively make use of, if there is some technology if there is something if people have built something to save your time that means it can kill your time as well internet was made to save your time but uh, nowadays internet is killing the time right similarly these things are made to save your time but it can kill your time as well so effectively you need to make use of it now i was telling that this particular feature is better deep cgi this particular feature is better and here you just put deep thing feature and then you paste the same query and you will see a very good result will come out click on this deep thing feature it will take some time but it will give better results okay so it would feel like that you are talking to this guy he is thinking and he is generating the result so it would feel like that he is talking to you are you able to understand this point okay so excellent question simplest word think of some energy as gentle 
constant checking of all the atoms uh, at all walls. So confusion is how this uh, millions of electrons but gently checking all the time most of uh, we will but yeah so he is actually uh, giving the correct explanation only but with the mathematics I will explain it in the lecture. So just I was giving an example okay uh, some analogy also he is giving so yeah that's the thing like I will explain this particular concept with the mathematics as well I will make use of Fermi direct distribution and uh, there I will derive some expression and then I will explain it. But uh, <coughs> if you are studying from anywhere, if you are studying and you are getting this kind of doubt, then this is how you can make use of it. So this is what I wanted to tell with this particular video that you can make use of AI as well in your preparation, but uh, use it in efficient manner. So two features mostly I use like deep seek in deep seek that deep thing feature I use and uh, chat GPT also I use. Okay. This chat GPT also I use and for your assignments work and everything you can surely use it. Yeah. So that's it. This was the motive of making this video. I'm not saying that you should use ChatGPT, you should use DeepSeek. I'm just telling that when it is required, you can make use of it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Happy learning.